Phew, that was another long shift. But I need to hurry home to make dinner. I'm sure Ken will be hungry too. Huh? What is that? Ready? Go! <laughs> you bastard in Azuka! Stop acting like you're embarrassed! And Azuka, take this seriously and do it right now! Oh, I just me. Hey, hey, this is Heiji Shao! Look at Heiji and learn. He's got the right idea. That's right, Inazuka. You think you'll be able to make children smile like that? Mr. Inazuka, you got this. I'm gonna try my best, too. Inazuka, if you act embarrassed, it's even more embarrassing, you know? Th that's true. Mr. Inazuka, I believe in you. Because you're someone that can do anything when you put your mind to it. Uh... I never thought the day would come that I had to learn from Heiji. Boss, this time I'll do it properly. That's the fearsome devil in Azuga that I know. All right, we're going to try again. Ready? Go! I must be really tired. I can't believe I'm having a hallucination of scary-looking grown men marching along wearing mouse ears. I really should rest, but I have no time for a break. I have to work hard for Ken. My name is Hiroko. I'm a 32-year-old single mother. I live together with my 7-year-old son, Ken. When I was pregnant with Ken, my husband was caught in a natural disaster and left us on Earth. That's why I am working tooth and nail right now to raise Ken by myself. I'm home! Ken, I'm sorry I'm home late. Mommy, welcome back! Were you sad without me? Nope, I'm fine. I was watching YouTube, so I wasn't sad at all. Ken, I'm so sorry. What were you watching on YouTube today? Oh, a video of an amusement park. My friend was telling me that he's going to the amusement park soon. And since I've never been to an amusement park, I wanted to see what it's like. It looks like so much fun. Ken. Mommy, I also want to go to an amusement. Oh, I mean, uh, nothing. I'm sorry. What? Mommy, why are you apologizing? You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, our family doesn't have money. As for my husband's insurance, before he passed, he had failed in starting a business and he was in debt, so I had to use it all to pay that off. Right now, I have my hands full with getting by every day, and I'm not able to take my son to the amusement park, even though I'm sure he really wants to go too. He's only seven years old, but he already knows that we don't have much money. And that's why he won't say that he wants to go to the amusement park. I feel so sorry to Ken. I need to work harder. Then, one day... Oh, Mr. Roko! Thank goodness! I'm so happy to see you. How can I help you? This is Miss Akiko. We work at the same part-time job, and she has a son the same age as mine. She's quite a young mom, and she's a little... Well, no, very rough around the edges. What does this Miss Akiko want from me? To be honest, I don't really want to get involved with her. Hey, Miss Hiroko, are you enjoying your life like that? What is that supposed to mean? I've never seen you wear makeup, and your clothes all look cheap. Please leave me alone. Oh dear, did I make you mad? Sorry, sorry. You know, I'm just the type of girl that says what she's thinking. That's none of my business. Is that all you wanted? No, no, I haven't even gotten to that yet. This upcoming Saturday, I'm going to go drinking from the afternoon with some friends. You know, what they call day drinking. It's going to be so fun. Aren't you jealous? I'm such a little party girl. That's why I started drinking so early. Okay. And so, while I'm out, I wanted you to watch my son Masa. What? What are you saying? I can't do that. Why not? I mean, come on. Your son Ken and my Masa are, like, best friends. Um, I don't even think they ever spoken to each other. Don't worry about that. Little kids become best friends so easily. Anyway, I'm sure your son Ken will be so happy too, so you'll take him, right? No, I won't. Either way, this Saturday, I have a shift scheduled. Huh? Just request a day off from that place. I can't just do that. Oh, that's right. You're a single mother, aren't you? You don't have money, so you have to work. That may be true, but you don't have to say it like that. Oh, sorry. You know, I'm just the type of girl that says what she's thinking, so... Miss Akiko, you... Well then, why don't we do this? I'll give you five dollars so you can look after him the whole day. How about that? That's fine, right? 
No, I will decline. What? But why? Five dollars is a lot of money for you, isn't it? You can get a whole Happy Meal with that. A Happy Meal. You get to play with my sweet Masa and you get five dollars. Those are amazing terms. No matter what the terms, I said I can't and that's that. Please let it go. Aw, you're more stubborn than I expected. That's why your husband ran away from you. He didn't run away from me. Oh, really? I don't remember. Did he just leave you? No, you're wrong. I'm going to get back to work now. Look at you getting mad again. You're so small-tempered. You mean short-tempered. Oh, whatever. Same thing. <sighs> I already have so much stress built up. But when I have to talk to people like her, I get even more tired. Whatever, I just need to ignore her. I don't need to entertain her. That's Saturday. Mommy, good morning. Good morning, Ken. I left your breakfast out on the table. Your lunch is in the refrigerator, so put it in the microwave and you can eat it. Oh, Mom, you have work today too? Yeah, I have to go. I see. I'm sorry. I'm going to do my best to get home early today, but I have the day off tomorrow, so let's hang out a lot, okay? Sure. Ken, he looks sad, but of course he is. I feel so bad. I wish I could have more time with Ken, but in the current situation, I just can't. Hmm? The doorbell? Who would be here at this time? Hello? What? What? Are you... Masa? What's wrong? What? 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 Wait! Why is Miss Akiko's son Masa here? Wait a minute. Uh, uh, my mom! She just dropped me off out of the car in front of this house. And she told me to just ring the doorbell. And I was so scared. I was so scared she was throwing me away forever. What? What, what on earth? This is too awful. I never once said I would look after him. I don't even care about myself. I feel so bad for Masa. He's crying so much. I immediately picked up the phone and called Miss Akiko, but of course she didn't pick up. What do I do? I'm going to be late for my shift already, but if I call out now, it's going to cause a lot of trouble. Ken, Masa, do you think the two of you can stay home alone? I will ask to leave work early and I'll be back as soon as possible. Okay. Yeah! All right then, I'm going to go, okay? Wait, what? Uh... Ah, beer in the afternoon, this is the best. Day drinking wins against everything. It's been a while since I've been able to drink with you like this. I know, right? I haven't been able to go drinking at all ever since having a kid. But guess what? From now on, I can go like every week. Seriously? That's sick! Is your husband watching him? No, no, not my husband. There's this fellow mom who is easy to use. I have that woman looking after him today, too. What? That's amazing. That's so useful. Isn't it? It's so good. Oh, a message from Masa. Whoa, looks like that mom took the kids to the amusement park. Seriously? She's even more useful than I thought. Right? I'm just going to use her all the time now. Oh, I guess I should at least call her to thank her. Hello? Miss Akiko, what is it? Thank you for taking my son to the amusement park for free. I guess you do have some redeeming qualities. You put up a fuss, but you actually really wanted to take care of Masa, didn't you? So from now on, I'll let you look after him every week. Um, no, I'm currently in the hospital. Huh? The hospital? Yes, I haven't taken Masa or Kent to the amusement park. Huh? Well then how? Why is Masa at the amusement park? Who knows? I do actually know, but I'm not going to tell her. What do you mean, who knows? I left you to look after him, didn't I? What do you mean? You just left him outside of our door without me ever agreeing to anything. I feel so bad for little Masa. That's not important. Where is he? Like I said, I don't know. Well then, if you'll excuse me. H hey, hey, wait. She hung up on me. What's wrong? Uh, that mom that I was talking about was saying something crazy. Sorry, I'm gonna go now. What? Where the heck are you? Masa! Sheesh! Oh, I just need to find him with his GPS. Huh? Why? Why is he all the way there? And was there an amusement park out there? Th there really is an amusement park? When was this built? Where could Masa be? Welcome to Dreamland. Ah, uh, gosh, you scared me. Oh, are you the mother who left Masa all behind? What, what are you guys? Isn't this an amusement park? 
what are scary-looking men like you doing here? Answer my question. N no, I just asked a friend to look after him. But that friend said she never agreed to that. And Master, I heard that he was so scared that he was left behind so suddenly that he was crying. And you see, the people we hate the most in the world are those who make little kids cry. Masha would do with her. Can't her? Give her the coffee cup punishment. Yes, sir, I got it. What? what is that? Coffee cup punishment? Let me put you in the coffee cup and... What are you gonna do to me? Kanta, go! Wow! Around and around and around and around and around the clock goes around. What? Y you're going too fast. Way too fast. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> oh, look, it's my mom. She looks like she's having fun. I want to ride that. That one is strictly for dirty adults. You can play with these coffee cups. Okay. <sighs> what is going on? All right, next up, why don't you put her on the roller coaster with the seatbelt nice and undone? Aye, aye, sir. What, what do you mean the seatbelt's undone? And take off. Yeah, I don't want to die. Don't worry. We put a lifeline on you so you won't die. That looks fun. Me next, me next. Cause sure, let's go on together. Absolutely not. Oh, jeez, I'm starting to feel sick just watching it. And just like that, at the new amusement park that was made in Uwasa Town, Miss Akiko was given this unbelievable preview before the official opening. How did things turn out this way? Well... Huh? Where am I? Yo! Uh, and you are? We just happened to pass by your house during our practice, and your two sons came running up to us for help, and we brought you to the hospital. Ah, I see. Thank you very much. This man, I feel like I've seen him somewhere before. They said you collapsed from exhaustion. Oh, really? Your son, he was crying. He thought his mom was gonna die. I don't know anything about your situation, but you need to stop working until you collapse. But I don't have a choice. I have to. Or... But wait, the boys? Where are they? We didn't know when you might wake up, so we're letting them play nearby. Don't worry, there are adults watching them. Is that so? Thank you very much. Here, look. What? An amusement park? But how? Our gang, we decided to build a new amusement park. Every year, the amusement parks are just getting more expensive, and now it's become a place you can't go to without a lot of money, so... We wanted to build an amusement park that you could easily go to. As if it's just one step up from going to the mall. So we did. D did you just say gang? Don't worry about that. Anyway, the two of them are having fun there, so they're fine. Okay. Oh, that's right. You, uh, how about working at our amusement park? What? At the amusement park? Yeah, we're looking for people to hire right now. And we're planning on building a preschool and a daycare next door for the employees, too. You'll be able to choose your own schedule, and it'll be ideal for raising a child and working. If you keep up whatever it is and you're doing now, you know you're just gonna collapse again and make your child cry again. Are you sure? Yeah, the motto of our gang is, for everyone's happiness. We're building an amusement park so that we can make more children happy. So this isn't a time to hesitate. Th thank you very much. After spending a few more hours at the hospital, I was hired at that amusement park as an official full-time employee. I get two full days off per week. I get flexible shift times and shortened shifts if needed. It was a truly considerate company, and I got to spend more time with Ken, and I felt a huge weight lifted physically and emotionally. I've never been happier. As for Miss Akiko... Yeah! I think this character is kind of scary. I feel like it's a bad guy. Yeah, I don't really want it to come closer. Damn it! Watch your mouth, you little brats! Hey! You need to understand how the kids feel! Don't ever drop that smile! We're watching you! Oh, come on! I'm wearing a costume, so nobody will know if I'm smiling or not. If you're gonna keep complaining, we're gonna put you in the coffee cup and roller coaster again. N no, no, no! Please, not that! Anything but that! She's at the amusement park inside of a costume, while her new bosses are teaching her some manners from scratch. On top of that, her husband found out about the situation, and he moved out and took Masa with him. 
As for me, today I was given the day off of work, so I'm here at the amusement park to have fun with Ken as a customer, and for free with an employee discount. Mommy, it's almost time for the Yeah Yeah Gang Parade! That's what they named the parade. <laughs> oh, they're here! Ready, set, <laughs> this is amazing! Everyone looks great! Not that! Didn't know they had it in them! Let's not tell anyone that's our family! <laughs> Those people really are funny! The Yeah Yeah Gang's parade is super popular with the kids, but I never could have guessed that what I saw that day was a practice for this parade. I later found out that these people really are gangsters from a gang called the Uwasa Gang. I can only laugh and still can't believe that gangsters are doing something like this. That being said, these people changed my life and saved me. And thanks to them, now I can come to an amusement park with Ken. Not only that, but the Uwasa Gang passed out free tickets to single mother households and orphanage centers around the town. They're working hard every day to try to bring smiles to every child. I feel so proud to get to be a small part of that mission. I'm going to keep working hard with the members of the Uwasa Gang so that I can also make more children happy.